In this video, we're tackling nine things you can do today to prevent a heart attack. Heart health is pivotal to our overall well-being, yet heart attacks remain a prevalent medical emergency, often with life-altering consequences or, in the worst cases, fatal outcomes. But here's the good news. Heart attacks are largely preventable. By understanding the risk factors and making some strategic lifestyle changes, we can significantly reduce the likelihood of experiencing this medical emergency. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before we delve into prevention, it's essential to understand what a heart attack is. You see, when we talk about heart attacks, we're referring to a serious medical emergency that happens when the supply of blood to the heart is suddenly blocked. This blockage is typically caused by a blood clot which forms in one of the coronary arteries, the major blood vessels that supply the heart with blood. Now imagine this. Your heart is like an engine, tirelessly working, pumping blood throughout your body. But what happens when the fuel supply to this engine, in this case, the blood, is cut off? The engine starts to sputter and eventually stops. That's essentially what happens during a heart attack. Parts of your heart start to get damaged and begin to die because they're not getting the oxygen and nutrients they need to function. But how do you know if you're having a heart attack? Well, there are some common symptoms to watch out for. These include chest pain, which is often described as a sensation of pressure, tightness, or squeezing in the center of your chest. You might also experience pain in other parts of your body, often feeling like it's radiating from your chest to your arms, jaw, neck, back, and abdomen. Shortness of breath is another key symptom. This can occur with or without chest pain. Other symptoms include feeling lightheaded or dizzy, sweating and experiencing a sense of anxiety or fear that's often described as a feeling of impending doom. It's important to remember that symptoms can vary from person to person, and they might not always be severe. Some people may not even experience chest pain at all, especially women and those with diabetes. Now that we understand heart attacks better, we can take a closer look at prevention. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding is the first step towards prevention. Let's continue our journey towards a heart-healthy life. A significant step towards preventing a heart attack is making lifestyle changes. It's not just about living longer, it's about living better, with a heart that's healthy and strong. Let us start with the importance of maintaining a balanced lifestyle. This means taking care of your body in all aspects, from the food you eat to the activities you engage in. It's about finding balance between work and relaxation, activity and rest, indulgence and moderation. Regular exercise is one of the keys to this balance. It strengthens the heart, reduces blood pressure, and helps maintain a healthy weight. But remember, regularity is key. Don't think of it as a chore, but as a part of your day like brushing your teeth or having breakfast. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a dance class, or a quick gym session, find something you enjoy and stick with it. Next, let's talk about diet. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats is essential. It provides the nutrients your body needs to function properly and helps prevent conditions like high cholesterol and obesity, which can contribute to heart disease. Make sure to include a variety of foods in your meals to get a wide range of nutrients. And remember, moderation is key. It's okay to indulge once in a while, but make sure it's not a regular habit. Thirdly, we have sleep. Adequate sleep is often overlooked, but it's just as important as diet and exercise. It helps your body recover and repair, and supports a healthy immune system. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night, and remember, quality is just as important as quantity. Try to maintain a consistent sleep schedule and create a relaxing bedtime routine to help you wind down and prepare for sleep. Remember, a healthier lifestyle can be your shield against heart attacks. It's not just about adding years to your life, but adding life to your years. So, let's start today for a healthier, happier tomorrow. Managing risk factors is another crucial element in preventing heart attacks. Let's dive into some of those risk factors and how to keep them in check. High blood pressure, cholesterol, and obesity are three major risk factors for heart attacks. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, can harden and thicken your arteries making it harder for blood to flow to your heart. Untreated, it can lead to heart disease and stroke. Cholesterol is a waxy substance found in your blood. While your body needs cholesterol to build healthy cells, high levels can develop fatty deposits in your blood vessels. These deposits can restrict blood flow to your heart, leading to heart disease. Obesity, being significantly overweight, increases the risk of heart disease as it's often linked with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. It can also put extra strain on your heart, making it work harder than it should. So, how do you manage these risk factors? Regular health checkups are key, 
These checkups can help detect high blood pressure, cholesterol, and obesity early on, allowing you to take steps to manage them before they become a bigger issue. Your healthcare provider can guide you on the necessary lifestyle changes or medications needed to bring these risk factors under control. Regular checkups are also an opportunity to discuss any concerns or symptoms you may have such as chest pain or shortness of breath. Remember, early detection and intervention can significantly reduce your risk of heart disease. In a nutshell, managing these risk factors is not just about preventing heart disease. It's about empowering yourself to lead a healthier, longer life. It's about taking control of your health today, for a brighter, heart-healthy tomorrow. Smoking is a significant risk factor for heart attacks. This isn't just a random statement, but a fact backed by extensive research. When you inhale smoke, you're not just getting nicotine, but also a cocktail of harmful chemicals. These substances can damage your heart and blood vessels, leading to atherosclerosis, a condition where plaque builds up in the arteries, narrowing them over time. When these arteries, particularly the coronary ones supplying your heart become too narrow the result is a heart attack, moreover smoking reduces the amount of oxygen your blood can carry, forcing your heart to work harder. But here's the silver lining, no matter how long you've been smoking it's never too late to quit. In fact, within just one year of quitting, your risk of heart disease can drop by half. And within 15 years, it's as if you've never smoked at all. Quitting smoking can significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack. Remember, every cigarette not smoked is a victory for your heart health. Make the choice today, for a healthier tomorrow. Sometimes, lifestyle changes are not enough, and medications may be necessary. In certain cases, the risk of heart attacks can be significantly reduced by introducing pharmaceuticals into your health regimen. Statins, for instance, are a type of medication that can help lower cholesterol levels in the blood. High cholesterol is one of the major risk factors for heart disease. And by bringing these levels down, statins can help prevent the buildup of plaque in your arteries that can lead to a heart attack. Another common preventive measure is the use of low-dose aspirin. This medication works by reducing the formation of blood clots, which can block the coronary arteries and trigger a heart attack. However, the benefits of aspirin should always be weighed against its potential risks. It's crucial to remember that these medications are not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle, but rather a supplement to it. As noted by health partners in their 2024 blog post, taking these medications should always be under a doctor's guidance and prescription. Self-medication can lead to unwanted side effects and may not provide the desired outcomes. Always remember to take medications as prescribed by your doctor. Moderation is key when it comes to alcohol consumption. You've probably heard that a glass of red wine a day keeps the doctor away, but as with most things, it's not quite that simple. Overindulging in alcohol can lead to an array of health issues, including heart disease. Excessive drinking can elevate your blood pressure and cholesterol levels, increase your body mass index and even lead to obesity. However, when consumed in moderation, alcohol may have some heart-healthy benefits. It's believed that moderate alcohol consumption can increase your high-density lipoprotein (HDL), often referred to as the good cholesterol. This can help prevent the buildup of plaques in your arteries, decreasing your risk of heart attacks. So, what does moderation mean in this context? For most adults, moderate drinking is defined as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. But remember, this doesn't mean you can save up all your drinks for the weekend binge. As emphasized by health partners in 2024, it's crucial to remember that alcohol is just one piece of the heart health puzzle. It should be combined with regular exercise, a balanced diet, and other heart-healthy habits. Moderate alcohol consumption can help maintain your heart health. Preventing a heart attack is not an overnight process. It's a journey that requires commitment, consistency, and sometimes considerable changes. As we wrap up the discussion on heart attack prevention, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We started by understanding what heart attacks are and how they're caused by blocked coronary arteries. This understanding is the foundation of prevention, making us aware of the importance of maintaining healthy blood flow. Next, we delved into lifestyle changes. We learned that a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and adequate sleep are not just cliches, but pivotal elements of a heart-healthy lifestyle. They help us manage our weight, keep our blood pressure in check, and reduce the risk of heart attacks. We then explored the significance of risk factor management, High blood pressure, cholesterol, and obesity are not just numbers on a health report, they are indicators of our heart health. 
Regular preventive care and maintaining healthy levels of these parameters can significantly reduce our risk of heart attacks. Smoking, as we discovered, is a major risk factor. Quitting smoking can be challenging but the benefits to our heart health are incomparable. It's a step that can add years to our lives and life to our years. We also discussed medications like statins and low-dose aspirin. For high-risk individuals these medications can be life-saving. But remember, they're not substitutes for a healthy lifestyle. Lastly, we talked about alcohol. Moderate alcohol consumption can be part of a balanced lifestyle but it's crucial to remember that moderation is key. In essence, preventing heart attacks is about making conscious, healthy choices every day. It's about understanding our bodies, listening to them, and nurturing them. It's about making our heart health a priority, not just today, but every day. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a comment below. Knowledge is power, but action is key. Now that you're armed with these nine life-altering strategies to prevent heart attacks, it's time to put them into action. Remember, each small step you take towards a healthier lifestyle contributes to the overall wellness of your heart. But, how do you start? Well, that's where we come in. To aid you on this journey we've provided a useful tool in the description below, our calorie and protein calculator. This handy tool can help you maintain a balanced diet and track your progress, two essential elements in heart attack prevention. Don't just stop at watching this video, make a promise to yourself to actively make changes. Start with one of the strategies we discussed, whether it's quitting smoking, moderating alcohol consumption, or managing risk factors, and then gradually incorporate the others. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to lower your blood pressure naturally, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.